So netting season is well and truly upon us. Um, Neil and Luella have just come back from Maclay Island, this lovely sweet girl, and unfortunately she was caught in this netting, which the homeowner described as gossamer netting. It's really horrible stuff. It's so fine. Um, so she was well and truly wrapped in it. <coughs> Anyway, the good news is that the netting, the good news is that the netting's off, isn't it? That's terrific news. But the bad news is that this poor girl is lactating, and she's lactating quite heavily, and there was no sign of a baby. So it's quite possible that the baby's back at the camp. And sadly for that baby, it's not going to have a happy or a quick outcome, um, but there's not a lot we can do about that. She has to come into care because she was so wrapped up, and we need to monitor for injuries including die back to her wings because of the severe constriction caused by that awful netting. So please, another message once again, if you have to net your fruit trees, please never use any netting that you can poke a finger through and use um, shea cloth type netting. Or even better still, you know, just take things off the tree like pawpaws you can, and mangoes, you can ripen on your bench top and leave some for the wildlife as well would be nice if we can do that. But um, she'll be in care for a couple of weeks and uh, at least her life is saved um, and she can have another baby next year. But, you know, there is a, a toll here and, and that baby will die. So please think about that if you know anybody who's using net, any netting that they can poke a finger through. Okay, thanks.